Tomei Cousin, I am thrilled to have you here at long last. Yes. You are a very busy theatrical artist, we will say. Because you choreograph, you direct, you perform. Your name has been all over Pittsburgh this summer. And uh, we're talking about a show that you'll be directing at the Pittsburgh Playhouse coming up here in September. The Scottsboro Boys. Yes, the Scottsboro Boys. <laughs> um, not your typical musical, I would say, but a um, very important one for the times we're having right now. Yeah, yeah so tell us a little bit uh, about that, uh, about the, the substance of this show, which has a lot of historical significance. Uh, yes, uh, the basic premise of it is in 1931, uh, nine Afro-American young boys between the ages of 19 and 13 uh, were uh, basically hobos. They were traveling in the South trying to find work. And uh, there was a fight that broke out on the train between uh, some races, and they were pulled over. And there were two women that were found in a box car, two cars over, and they were basically uh, hustlers, if we'll call them. I get you know, it, yeah. Okay, yeah and uh, so the women, to save themselves, pointed to these young boys and said that they were raped. Mm. And so it started what we uh, are now calling a railroad case. Uh, so these young men went through about nine different trials and they were found guilty each time. And uh, so it basically is the, the start of the civil rights movement underneath it. Yeah. And uh, many characters come from it. Uh, so it's a musical though. Right, and told yeah. through a Candor and Ebb musical. Yes, and, yes. and most people might be familiar with them through things like Cabaret yeah, and, and Chicago. Chicago. And so, like, yeah. so how do Candor and Ebb tell this very sensitive story? Well, the, the same way. Uh, like uh, Chicago, you uh -huh. know, it has, uh, has a little bit of irony and bite inside of it. Yeah. Uh, and so they found a way to give it some razzle and dazzle without making it too um, um, over the top. Right. So it still keeps a little bit of the, the seriousness in it, but it does have a great deal of fun in it. And it's done through the, the, the premise of a minstrel show. Uh, so the, the young men are performing their own story as opposed to it happening in real time. Right. Uh, yeah. And uh, the original direction and choreography was by Susan Stroman, who is uh, a name very familiar to uh, theater goers. And uh, Susan Stroman is somebody that you have worked with yes. quite a bit, as yes. a matter of fact. Yes. Yeah, she's a five-time Tony Award winner. Yes. And, uh, yeah, she's a pretty substantial lady in the history of musical theater. Uh, I have uh, an association with her since 1998, and she's entrusted me with restaging her works um, and, and seeking me out to doctor her shows, you know, yeah. when I, from making opinions and everything. That's quite an honor. Oh, yeah. So, so how yeah. did you ascend to this honor with, with Susan Stroman? Uh, how did you first get in touch with her? <laughs> well, I, uh, I crashed an audition, as the, the, the term is called. It was an invited <laughs> call, and I just heard about it through the grapevine, and I showed up at this audition, and she liked me, and... Uh, I was cast in a musical contact, which uh, won the best musical uh, Tony Award in 2000. Wow. And, and, and uh, because I did my job, you know, I was always there. I learned the choreography, I learned the direction, and I had a training from Point Park. Being a director and being a choreographer, she saw that and she just wished the willed her works onto me. So, is yeah. crashing an audition something you would recommend to young aspiring performers? I, I, I would say yes. <laughs> I would say yes. It worked for, for you. It, I would say yes. You know, you just you know just show up and they will see you. Chances are they'll see you if you're there and they have time. They'll squeeze one of you in. You know. So the yeah. takeaway I think is perseverance. Yes, exactly. It is exactly. what it is. Yeah. Uh, so it, it, you have, a, as I said earlier, an illustrious career both in choreography and direction. So, you know, what do you feel that you specifically are bringing to this production of Scottsboro Boys? And with respect to Susan Stroman, yeah, uh, yeah. What, what's your unique um, stand I, I tend to be like a theater history geek, mm. uh, if you will, and I love research. You know, so what I did is I invest, invested a lot of research into this particular work when it was first being put together. So I knew all of that. But my take is that I, um, I have a social conscience that I'm really making a stance with this work. So it's very unique. My interpretation of it, I'll be the first Afro-American person directing the work. So I think that is in itself a big stance with it. No, and yeah. it, always relevant. I mean, unfortunately, very relevant mm -hmm. today. Yeah. Uh, so I think it'd be difficult to see a piece like this without you know, current events yes. in mind. Yes. I imagine it might be tricky to direct it without yeah, those yeah. in mind too. Exactly. Is, is there anything currently influencing uh, this process from the outside? Yes. the. Uh, climate that we're going through right now politically, yeah. you know, with our president and the, we see the events that just happened in Charlottesville. I mean, right. th there's a lot of that going on. There's also a, a lot of the immigrant uh, and um, just, just the legal system, you know, police issues. There's a lot of commentary that's going on in there inside the work. But again, it's done through a very respectful and um, fun uh, at times, often fun. And there's an interesting footnote to the story of the Scottsboro Boys, which uh, developed a little more recently in history that's not necessarily included in the in the musical. Am I correct about this? Yeah. Uh, we, I'm, uh, oh, sort about of the, the exoneration of right, the Right, right. Exactly. Yeah, the history of the show, it uh, was on Broadway in 
2011, and then it went across the country, and then it ended up in London. And through the, the success of it there on the West End, the case was reopened here in the United States, and all nine young men were finally exonerated in 2015. That's so amazing. So from 1931 to 19, you know, 2015, that's a great, great deal of time. And, and really, it's due to the, the, show, the show, really, that show. reignited the interest yeah. in that that led to their eventual yeah. exoneration. Exactly. That's amazing that yeah. art has the power art, to yes, influence yes, yes. history yes, exactly. like that. Exactly. So please put that in your director's yeah. notes. Yeah. I hope there's going to be something in the program <laughs> about that, because that is an incredible story. Yeah. I mean, there could be a play about that. About that, exactly. So exactly. get thinking, you know, because yeah. I know you're a writer, too. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, just yeah. cut me in for just 2%, you know, for the idea. It's an agent for you in there. I know yeah. that you'll do an amazing job with it, you know, the dance numbers yeah. especially. Yeah. But, you know, in this current climate, what is what do you hope, above all, that audiences will take away from this piece? That, that they should be aware. Be aware of what's going on and and, uh, and find and do the research and reading for yourself. You know, mm -hmm. so you really can make a decision for yourself. A, gr a great deal came from this particular case. Uh, but the character of Rosa Parks is, is also prom uh, prominent in the work, and she herself, in reality, went to a Scottsboro Boys rally supporting them to deliver a cake. And <laughs> to, and she has a cake, and we have that in the play. Uh, it's already written into the play. Uh -huh. And she met her husband there, and they that fueled her to be able to make the stance on the bus because she's waiting for a bus. So wow. she left that and that she went and she was thinking. And so she, the next step for her was that step that wow. changed history you know, from these boys. A very important piece yeah. of uh, music, art, laughs, dance. Laughs. There will be laughter. Laughs. We must say that too. <laughs> I am intrigued. Uh, there is Scottsboro Boys. We have the, the card here and that will open at the uh, Pittsburgh Playhouse September 8th. Yes. And it'll run through September 24th. Uh, it'll be at the Rao Theater there. Preview is September 7th. Plenty of opportunities to see it. Uh, and all of your fine work there, Tomei. Thank you. We wish you the best. Thank, Thank you. you. Looking Thank forward to it. Great.